George Carlin said, Think of how stupid the average person is, and realize half of them are stupider than that. What real-life example have you seen that validates this view? There is a considerable overlap between the intelligence of the smartest bears and the dumbest tourists. Yosemite Park Ranger on why it's hard to design a bear-proof garbage can. I worked at a bank. Mobile depositing had just became a thing. We received a picture of someone's cash for deposit. Yay. See bro. Just wait like two hours and take another photo of the same cash and deposit it again. And again and again. Whoa. Instant money. Yeah bro. Instant money. Fuck we're gonna be so rich off this $84. That's some big brain mega money s right there. Was it Zuckerberg? A woman I used to work with who insisted that any animal could reproduce with any other animal. She believed that sperm from any animal was the same and that DNA was irrelevant. She believed this because she once saw some sickly, possibly deformed puppies and decided that they must have been half dog and half rat. If she ever saw a centaur she'd probably be buying lots of horse sperm. Ah uh, yes. Rat terriers. They're called chihuahuas and that's just how they look. The fact Florida had to tell people not to shoot at the hurricane. Even better. The fact that Noah even has to have a section on their site explaining why using nuclear weapons against hurricanes is far worse than the worst idea you can possibly imagine. There were people in Adana, Turkey that shot at the sun because it was too hot. When your only tool is a hammer. Every problem looks like a nail. One of my nieces had a cold as a toddler and was breathing throughout her mouth. My ex Bill flipped out because he didn't want her to get carbon monoxide poisoning from breathing through her mouth instead of her nose. The normal way. Pensive face. I read things like this and start asking myself, why would anyone think this? How would this even work? And then I realize. This is the kind of stupid I don't want to understand. I teach 6th grade. One time a parent came to me after trying to help their child with math homework and asked, What number is X worth? It feels like it changes with every problem. I don't know if this is satire or not, but good job. On 9-11 the general manager called his daughter who was attending ASU to wake her up and make sure she saw what was going on. The customer service manager said, It won't be on her TV yet. Arizona is two hours behind us. Why didn't Australia warn us about 9-11s? After all they are several hours ahead. I worked at Little Caesars and we were proofing the dough for pizza. My boss said, at 7 p.m., that the dough needed to rise for 12 hours. And took out her calculator to do the math. So I said um that's gonna be 7 a.m. Then she said the dough will expire in 48 hours and started doing the math again. I told her it would expire two days from now. And she said that's kinda weird how that works out huh? I quit shortly after that. Just scroll down a web page or Facebook feed and have a look at the ads. Things like only 2% can solve this puzzle s like that. Those ads get posted so much because they actually work on a lot of people. I'm an insurance claims adjuster. If you truly knew how many stupid drivers you're sharing the road with, you'd never drive again. Edit because I keep getting this question. I avoid driving whenever possible. I have a car, but I take the bus to from work. I never drive at night. At the start of working from home due to COVID, I had a few users submit tickets for connectivity issues. These tickets got through two lines of support before landing in my queue. Turns out that the corporate Wi-Fi doesn't follow you home and you need home internet in order to connect to the VPN. That's f hilarious. In the saddest way possible. In grade 10, we had a science test. And the teacher gave one point for putting a date on the paper and one point for your name on the paper, dot, and then there were 98 points for the rest of the test. 
A guy sitting in front of me got 0 0.5 100, didn't write the date and only wrote his first name. That's f hilarious. Reminds me of the time my classmate copied the test answers of my other smarter classmate in second grade. He got caught because he copied the name too. The woman that called into a radio station to complain about the deer crossing signs on a highway, saying that the deer will see the sign and consider this place a safe place to cross the road. HTTPS colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash watch vehicles RFCRJ Legger I. This is a perfect example of this. What boggles my mind is how she actually sounds rather intellectual and is decently well-spoken. So for someone to be so d-off-base is so crazy to me. I just for the life of me can't understand her point of view. In the 80s, A&W attempted to compete with McDonald's Quarter Pounder Burger by selling a third pounder for the same price. The operation failed tremendously with virtually no one buying the burger. When they surveyed customers for an explanation, the majority of customers responded that they didn't want to pay the same price for less meat. Their customers genuinely believed that one-third was less than one-fourth and refused to try the new A&W burger because of it. Edit, obligatory, fuck everyone who says rip my inbox. I hate that s. Infantryman was told to trim the hedges. So he lifted the lawnmower. His buddy started it. As a brand new medic, I spent about six hours pulling finger meat from the hedges. Edit, thanks for the award. Update, sorry. I'm a red urban on a phone. For clarification, it was early 2004 after OIF when in the 82nd. I was a PFC with only a year and a half in service. We bandaged him, then used tourniquet temporarily. Senior medics took him to the ER. I was field sanitation qualified, so I was left in charge of cleanup. Six hours was excessive, but after we pulled most of the meat and bone out, we had to hose down the hedges, the ground, the grass he bled in, the ground, floor outside and inside where he left a decent amount of blood had to be rinsed in sterilized. The mower had to be rinsed and cleaned. It had some damage from the drop. The private that started the mower had to be smoked by his NCO. We finished in about four hours of actual work with two hours of F off mixed in. Cause the sham shield is the real deal. Was at a party and someone's s old truck got stuck in some mud so instead of sobering up and coming back the next day. He makes a Molotov cocktail with gas and throws it at the truck. The truck caught fire and was completely destroyed. Jason, I'm not sure if that's stupid or just pure chaotic energy. Knew a kid who drank bleach to prove it wouldn't kill you. A week later he showed up at school after taking a shot. He said he proved his point when the teacher asked why he was bragging about it. Mr. Hawk just said, but you cannot argue that without that medical treatment you'd have died though. You even said you have stomach damage and a burn esophagus yourself. This kid was bragging about that. He was not mentally disabled or otherwise. He was just that kind of idiot. Edit, thank you all. Who'd have thought my most upvoted comment would be about some kid I knew drinking literal bleach. Rip my inbox. When I was in high school, we were reading a short story about what would have happened if the Japanese attacked us back with nuclear weapons after Hiroshima and Nagasaki. A girl in my class raised her hand and said something along the lines of why does this matter? None of it is real anyway. The teacher had to ask her to clarify. But this girl thought World War II and the bombing of Japan were just from a movie and did actually happen. The best part is, the girl was half Japanese. Edit. Well thank you for all of the upvotes. I have a ton more stories about this girl. So maybe I'll post some on a different subreddit soon. Myself. Looking for my phone when it was in my hand all the time. Then answering a call. And continuing looking for it during the call. Edit. Thanks for the award and damn. 
Using glasses must suck sometimes. I once used the flashlight on my phone to look for my phone under the couch. Definitely felt like a dumbass for the rest of the day. You know the reason you bury a rattlesnake after you kill it is because bees will eat it? Then bees can sting people with rattlesnake venom. Guy the first heard constantly trying to pick up women on public transit. That sounds like a sick superpower though.